A battle is brewing in Gig Harbor. Teens firing Nerf guns at other teens around town. It's a fight police want to put an end to. But the Gig Harbor high school seniors say they're not trying to scare anybody. As our Zach Anders found out tonight, this is actually an annual tradition. Behind me here in Gig Harbor, a war is consuming the class of 2023. But there's been no real victims. They're using Nerf guns and foam bullets. Some parents say they aren't too concerned what their seniors are getting up to, but still police say cut it out. We're taking it pretty seriously. Battlefield, Gig Harbor. We are doing a thing called Nerf Wars. It's a senior tradition and it's uh, first year back since COVID and 2020. The game plays out in public. The goal, strike your opponent with a foam bullet when they least suspect it. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. And just about anywhere in town is in play. The teens have set their own intricate rules. They're not allowed to attack each other at school, work, church. They can't go inside each other's houses, but they can be outside each other's houses. If you see a random teenager in your yard, it's probably someone playing Nerf Wars. And that's the part that worries law enforcement. Each year we get reports of prowlers or suspicious people, and we usually work it out and tie it to this event. We understand this is a fun event, and most of the activity associated with it is very safe, and, and again, in the spirit of fun. So I was actually walking my dogs, and I was outside. I saw somebody's leg in the bush, and then I was like, oh, I'm, I'm so dead. This week, police posted they'd rather the teens take it off the streets. And we broadcast that message to the community so that we don't put kids in a position where uh, they're in a dangerous situation or somebody reacts in a way that they think they're protecting themselves against really what isn't a threat. Not everybody knows what this is. This is part of the concern is these kids are just randomly going about their lives, doing what they do every day, taking the dogs out, going out to their car, and people are waiting for them. These, you know, the, their friends and kids are waiting for them. And so that's the fun part, I think, that they're still gonna want. We understand the public's concern, but it's all about communication and being mature about it and handling it so everyone's happy. A lot of people, like we've had people when we've been hunting, like, go get them or like, hope you guys get them. The seniors play this game for weeks. They say the decades old tradition that happens at schools all around Washington has been safe and fun. I feel always pretty safe. I don't ever feel like endangered or like I'm putting other people in danger. Even if like you're in the moment, it's pretty easy to separate that and just be like, it's just a game. <laughs> Still, local businesses are going so far as to post that they're a no-nerf zone on their storefronts as this thing apparently drags out until graduation. There's even a cash prize for the winning team. Now, Chief Busey tells me this hasn't been entirely incident-free. There was a car accident a few years back that did injure one of the students. They've tried to get the teens to stop over the years, but because they plan this outside of school and do it on their own time, there isn't much they can do. So for now, the war continues. From Gig Harbor tonight, Zach Anders, Fox 13 News.